This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this if you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I Welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. How is everyone? Are you okay? Good to hear. That sun is very, very bright, man. It's like right in our faces. <laughs> right, today, got a, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't think it's going to be a busy day, but we do have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, we've got three, we're loaded with wood. We've got three deliveries to make. Um, and then we need to go get loaded with a full load of hay and take down to Stoke on Trent. So, it sounds easy, but we've got three deliveries to make, so we've got to do those deliveries first. Um, the place we're going to first is in Salisbury, which is where we are now, and we are going to a company called Woodford. Woodford Forest, that is where we are going. Uh, from Salisbury, which is where we are now, we've got to go to Andover, and then from Andover, we've got to go to Pusey. And then from Pusey, we've got to go the other side of Pusey and get loaded with the hay. So, relatively short distance, but three deliveries nonetheless. So hopefully we can get them off nice and quick. I will show you the load as well. So that's, uh, that'll be good. Right, so where we're going is literally just down the road from, from where we are now. Uh, looks like it's going to be single track lanes in. Satnav and Google was telling me to go in the other way. I've decided to go in this way. I'm not going to make that corner, I don't think. So I'm just going to go round the roundabout and come in the other way. Yeah, I probably could have made it, but never mind. We've, we've come this way now. <laughs> the Woodfords, that is where we are going. Now, I phoned them up yesterday, because this is the thing, right? I could have actually have delivered this yesterday, but it would have meant doing a night out. And uh, today's today's thursday so yesterday was wednesday i'm definitely on a night out tonight my boss my boss told me i'm on a night out tonight uh yesterday was wednesday if i did a night out yesterday night then i would have been out all week this week because i was also out monday night and tuesday night 
So, although admittedly, Tuesday night was by my choice, I decided to, uh, to rather than wake up at 3am, bloody hell, instead of waking up at 3am, I decided to leave uh, that day and head to my delivery point. And I got like three quarters of the way there, so I was, wasn't too far away then from the delivery point on Tuesday morning. Anyway, by Dubai, this road's a bit windy, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I was supposed to come in the other way. We should be all right. I've, I've chose this way because it's single track lanes for less time. You can get cars past each other, and we can get a lorry and a car past each other on this road as long as you slow down and get right to one side. Yeah, it definitely looks like a forest, doesn't it? It should be here on the left. Are the gates open? That's the question. Gates are not open, but there's room to pull in off the road, which is what he said. He said you can pull in off the road. There we go. So I think we're just going to wait here. We're first in, so that's a good. That's good, 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 good. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like we just go around there on the left um, and get tipped over there. So we're here now. That's good. What we can do, because we've done an hour and a half nearly of driving this morning already, we're just going to whack it on break because we're probably going to be here until eight o'clock now. Like I said, it's, it's quarter past seven, so we'll probably be here 45 minutes before anyone turns up. So, let's get a break in. <laughs> hey, see you in a bit. Okay, the load is uh, currently coming off. Just gonna stand a little bit further away so you can take it off without getting hit. Go. I've got to, uh, got to thank my boss because some of this wood actually sifted when I got back to the yard last night and uh, he uh, moved some of it out of the way and did a backup for me so cheers boss but uh, <laughs> even when I got back here where I am now it the wood just shifts so I've got to make sure it's all done up again in a sec Right, we're getting there. Uh, that little pallet there needs to come off, and that big one, and then that's it for this drop. Yes. A little pallet there uh, and then we can do the ratchet strap back up you see there's a strap coming down it was going over the pallet once that pallet's off I'll put that strap back over this, this wood here do it up so it's all secure the six packs off here we've got six packs to come off at the next place which is like one two three four five six obviously come to six isn't it <laughs> the other side. Right, we are tipped. 
and we can't be long because the other lorry driver is waiting to get in. You can't see him, but he's right in front of me. I'm not quite sure what he's doing because I can't, I can't get out now. Is he going onto the road? I think I might just be getting a better angle. We got to do a sharp right. But this bit of uh, road here is so uneven, it's causing my straps to undo a little bit. I've got a pack on the front, and even though I've done it up really tight, I don't like how easy it's coming undone. Because it's like double stacked fence posts. So, nice and steady on the way out. Say bye to me, old mate, the driver. <laughs> he actually helped me out because I, as I uh, first arrived, I'd driven in, didn't I? Uh, it turns out I had to reverse back out on the road, drive forward a little bit and then reverse back in. So there was absolutely no traffic while I was there. I was waiting for about half an hour or so. And then he turned up and then as he, uh, as he suggested I you know, should reverse in, um, the road just got absolutely mad busy. And it's like everyone decided to, to use the road. So it was a bit of a nightmare. Anyway, six packs are off. We've got six left for the next drop. I think it's six. Pretty sure it's six. Need a sneeze. Yeah, six more for the next drop. Never been to the next drop before, like this one, uh, which is in Andover. So we get them off. And then we've got to go back over to Pusey. I have been to the Pusey one before. That's down some tight roads as well. So uh, we're going to have some fun. Going to have some fun today. Lovely. Right, we're back at this junction again. Can I make the right-hand turn? That's the question. No, all traffic go left. Yeah, you can't. See, sat <laughs> SatNav's telling me to go right, but I can't actually go right. All clear. Okay, lovely. Right, we're on the open road now. <laughs> right, let's crack on to Andover. We're only about half an hour away, give or take, so not too shabby. See you in a bit. Okay, we are here in Andover now, currently getting tipped. Uh, that's for the next drop, that's for the next drop. With that, onwards is for this drop. So they're just coming off now. Lovely jubbly. Here you go, so yeah, that pack's coming off here. And then uh, the ones behind it as well. But not to the brown one. The brown one's there and I've got to whack another strap over. I'll show you the other side. They're just going down there, look. But uh, yeah, the other side. i put my straps away in a sec. So this one, that one and that one. And then... Uh, just whack another strap over this bit over there. It's already got two technically, but why not add another one? Lovely jubbly. Anyway, better wind these up. So yeah, we're just on the other side now. Just uh, doing me straps up. So far, today's going all right. <laughs> it's about right that I would say that and then that would happen. Yeah, today, I mean, tip-wise, time it's taking to be, to be unloaded. It's going all right. Um, however, the last time I went to Pusey to deliver wood, the same place I'm going to today, I was there for a while. I vlogged it as well. So, it's not all plain smooth. Plain, plain smooth, plain one. I'm going to take that one. Fall on 
you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Right, we are tipped. Two down, one to go. Not doing too bad, but like I said, this next place I'm going to, it did take a while, so last time I went. Cheers, mate. See you later. Nice guys, yeah? Nice guys. I'm going left. Lovely. Yeah, just keeping an eye on that stack, because again, I'm tightening the stack up. The, uh, the wood is very, very slippery. On that, uh, on that one, it's creosoted, so it's more slippery than normal. Right, anyway, let's get going. I shall see you when we get a little bit closer. The roads are going to get a little bit tight. I've uh, just put like a uh, a route in that I want to take. I'm not going the way the sat nav is suggesting. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going in the way I come out last time. I think that's the plan. We'll see if it works. <laughs> see you in a bit. Just seen a, a sign saying uh, caution helicopters. They were bloody joking. This is uh, Salisbury Plain, so it's obviously where they do a lot of uh, practicing. I don't know if you can quite see the helicopter on the left. Just hovering above the, uh, the ground. That's pretty cool. Right, so now we're going through the village of Piusi. Not the friendliest. Like this turn, for example. Bloody hell. Luckily clear, that car's going to have to stop. No weight limits down here or anything. Lovely Dublin. Thank you. Yeah, Pusey is uh, not the friendliest for trucks. There's no weight limit on the roads I'm taking anyway. Um, we've got to go down some country roads in a bit. I have made a slight detour. The way I was gonna go, well, the way the sat-nav was gonna take me was a bit of a dodgy way. Then the way I planned to go was a little bit worse. Well, I wouldn't say worse, it's just roads that I know are gonna be tight. And now I'm going a third way, which uh, it shouldn't be as tight, hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan. Thank you. I like it when cars like keep coming and then they realize there's nowhere to go. I've got no problem stopping for cars, but uh, so, sometimes you're already in a position where even if you do stop, <laughs> they still can't pass. So they got to stop. Go under the bridge, which looks a lot smaller than it actually is. Whew, this bridge looks really small. We will get under it. <laughs> Lovely. Right, we want to take a left here. Where's that car going? It's not even indicating the car in front. I once uh, delivered up here uh, in a low loader. Pretty sure it was up here. Yeah, it was. Middle of the night. One of the reasons why I hated that job. Middle of the night, I had to park up here, you've got houses here, and I was starting up really loud machinery for these new builds to be uh, build, built for the tarmacking. Yeah, we're happy. Right, it's most of the country lanes now dealt with. We're uh, only a mile away, just over. Should be nice and straightforward from here. It got a little bit narrow back there, but um, nothing that we can't manage. Nothing major, and we're going back down here in a bit to uh, to get reloaded with hay. 
But to, to that, I tell you what, today's going so well that something's bound to go wrong. Something somewhere is bound to go wrong. I'm hoping we can get tipped nice and quick. We've only got like, if I remember rightly, one, two, three, four, five packs, I think. So five lifts. Shouldn't take too long, but you never know. You never know. Why? Uh, I think this person just told me to turn round. Oi, mate. Hey, get over, are you? No, I'm just going to Barlow and Sons left and then over the bridge on the right. right it was it? Right. All right, cheers, mate. Oh, I thought he was going to tell me to turn around then. I, he was flashing me. I was about to say, what's this guy flashing me for? I'm not going fast or anything. Oh, he likes his bush. He's getting well over for me. Yeah, so... <laughs> I saw him do that, like, as if to say, turn around. And I was like, oh, no. Don't tell me there's an accident down here. I'd struggle to turn this round down here. I really would. I'd have to find a farm. But we're nearly here. White horse there. Forgot that was there. Uh, and we're coming back this way as well. I don't know if you heard what he said. He said, uh, you're not going to Marlborough, are you? Marlborough, I believe, is right. Yeah. Yeah, so we're not we're not going right. That helicopter's back, I can hear it. It's just behind me. Hovering. Maybe he's following me. Alright, the last time I was here, like I said, it took a while to get offloaded, even though I was the only truck there at the time. But also whilst I was there, another two trucks turned up. There wasn't a lot of room. I also remember it being a tip from both sides, whereas both places I've tipped this morning were a tip from one side. So that also doesn't help. There's a very sharp right-hand turn just after the bridge. You'll see in a sec. This is the bridge coming up. Start indicating. All right, good news is there's no trucks there. Let's do this turn. I might have left it a bit late. All right, we can just make it. There's that helicopter again. It's bloody following me. Can you see it? It's another, not an Apache, is it? It's something else. Um, I'm going to go spin around at the back and then come back and just pop myself in the middle. Hopefully, no trucks come. Actually, I can't. I haven't got the room to do that. I'll just have to park here for a sec. Right, let me go find someone and we'll find out where exactly they want me. See you in a bit. Right, we're tipped here. Just got to put in this sat nav where we're going next. Okay, then we want to turn into there. The designated route. <laughs> suggest we take the unsuitable for HTV access road. <laughs> Cheers, mate. All right, have a good day. Cheers, bud. Very kind of him to watch me back. Over the bridge we go. So, uh, do you remember earlier I said uh, we could have like a 45 minute break before they turned up? We never actually got a 45 minute break in, we only had a 15 minute. So we do need a half an hour break at some point. Now, we're only on three hours driving, so we've still got an hour and a half left of drive time. Um, and we're only 10 minutes away from where we need to go and collect. So we can get collect, we can do our collection, probably get all the way to sort of like Swindon 
Um, is that the right I want? No. Yeah, get all the way to Swindon area and then have a break there. So uh, that's probably what we're going to do. Have a break sort of around Swindon area. Only need to have half an hour break. Uh, Mini, don't get too close to the house. Thank you. Yeah, the white horse is up there on the left. Look, sort of 11 o'clock area. Those boys were waiting for a, a, a Wiltshire concrete lorry to turn up, concrete mixer. It's supposed to be there by now, but it wasn't there. So I managed to get in and out before it turned up. They were quite impressed. Right, let's turn right here. Lovely jabbly. Right, I think what we're going to do is do a time lapse to the destination. Uh, we'll be there in like 10 minutes. Enjoy the time lapse. It is going to be just country lanes. See you in a bit. I used to stay up all night trying to find my place. Chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to leave me out of darkness. Give me a little faith. Something to make me stronger. Someone who could like the way. Then you came to me and you gave me reason. Uh -uh 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 -uh. I almost can't believe. We're loaded. We've been here, well, we've not been here like mega long, but, but then again we have. We've been here for like an hour and a half. <laughs> um, it didn't touch us for a good 40 minutes. So, the good news is we got a break in here. Remember I was saying we might need to have a break at Swindon. We won't need to have a break at Swindon because we got it in here. Uh, but yeah, we're now fully loaded. we just got to make our way out of this... Uh, countryside clear left clear right lovely jubbly right we do have a booking time according to the paperwork for half past two our eta is like quarter past three so we are going to be running a little bit late but um well put that down to them there like if they loaded me when i first arrived then maybe it would be late who knows but then again i would need to have a break anyway so it doesn't matter too much they're good guys there i like them right we're uh we're going to crack on. We're going to get out of uh, out of this countryside with these narrow lanes. I will see you when we're in Stoke in about three hours' time. It's uh, a bit of a drive there. So, see you in three hours. Right. We are just around the corner from where we need to be. Just gonna take a left here, I believe. You joined me three hours later. Oh, no one's indicating to go around here. Join me three hours later. Hopefully, we can get in nice and quick. The paperwork says we're booked in for half past two, but um, we're arriving at 20 past three, so we are a little bit late. Whether that means we can go straight on the bell or not, I don't know. We'll have to see. 
see how long it's going to be today. Uh, I haven't been told what time. It does say half two on the paperwork. What time was it due in? Hey? What time was it due in on yours? Eight after two. So you're Harry and Son, aren't you? Yeah, that's it. Have you been before? Uh, once. Go in, park on the left, go see goods in. Lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you very much. So that is right where you don't want it, right behind you. <laughs> right, we're in. Just line her up. Line her up, drive. Lovely. Right. So that's that done. I need to go in and uh, give them the paperwork and they're going to tell me roughly how long it is until I'm on the bay. So I'll see you in a bit. Right. We went and saw them. Uh, how long have we been sat there for? 43 minutes. Uh, we're now going on a bay. We're now going... Oh, what bay am I going on? 38. 38. I really confused myself then because I said 43. 30. <laughs> I'm going on 38. I swear I'm going on 38. Man, that sun is so bright. Right, it's going to go and undo my doors. There we go. Right. Windows up. What time is it? It's quarter past six. Hey Siri, what time is sunset? Sunset will be at 16.31 today. But when I say it's quarter past six, that means it's <laughs> I mean it's quarter past four. So sunrise is in about 15 minutes. They're already in the back, we have to feel them. Sounds wrong. Right, see you later. Oh uh, they tipped. We've got to just pull forward from the bay. And then we can close the doors. So we're just going to do that quickly. <laughs> oh, oh my God. That's cold out there, guys. Oh. Right, so that's that done. We can uh, take the high vis off now. We don't need the high vis rest of the day. I can go there. Right, it's an hour and a half away to where we need to go. And, well, that's where I'm aiming anyway. Like I said, I don't actually know where in Chester I'm picking up. It's, a, it's half a collection in Chester, then half a collection, collection in uh, Wrexham. Yeah. So, I'm heading to Chester. I've got, I found a place to park. The problem is, Sometimes you get told, yeah, you go to Chester, and, and then it'd be like 20 miles out of Chester. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to go all the way into the centre of Chester and then find out it's actually, that I've actually passed it or anything like that. So that's the only thing. So but we'll, we'll aim there anyway, and we'll see what happens. There's not a lot else we can do. But my God, it's only half past five. So we've only been here for two hours. But it feels a lot longer. It feels a lot longer than that. And um, the driver's room is really cold. There's, there's like no heating. There's a radiator in there. But um, I had a little look and I couldn't find out how you turn it on. So, well, it was on and it wasn't working. I don't know, one, one or the other. One or the other. 
Right, we're out. No one wanted to let me out. About right. Lorry drivers get in the way, don't they, you see? Right, so we're going to crack on now to Chester. And, uh, yeah, see when we get there. Okay, you join me at 10 to 6 in the evening. We are now in Chester, pretty much central. Well, it's a very big sort of retail area around here. Those lights didn't stay green for long. And uh, we are now looking for somewhere to park pretty much anywhere down here. As long as there's no yellow lines, it should be all right. And uh, there shouldn't be any yellow lines down this bit of road here, according to Google. <laughs> Could be wrong. Yeah, no yellow lines here. We've got someone behind me or not? No, we haven't. Yeah, no, no yellow lines here. I think uh, we'll just stop here, I think. Here we do. Yeah, it's not like the best place to park. I don't really like parking next to pavements because obviously people are walking past you. But um, according to the Google, there isn't really anywhere else. I think what I'm going to do is because it's so quiet here, I know there's loads of space here. So, um, yeah, because I know there's loads of space here, I'm just going to go for a quick drive around this area and just see if we can find somewhere a little bit better. Ah, this looks good. There's another truck here. There's no lines. There is paint on there, but it's not lines, I don't think. No, nah, it's not lines. I think here could be a good bet. I just want to get closer to the curb. Like I said, there is a pavement here as well, but it doesn't look like it's going to be as busy down here. It's more industrial, whereas back there is uh, a lot more stuff over there. So I think here would be better. There's fireworks going off. I'm just going to turn my engine off. It's a bit, it's a bit loud, like. Um, and in terms of where we're going tomorrow in the morning, it's out of here, turn left. Out of here, turn left, up the road, turn right, and then it's on the left. <laughs> we're literally 0 0.7 miles away. Oh, no, no, no 0 0.4 miles. Yeah, we're not far away at all. For uh, for tomorrow. Happy days. Cool. So yeah, I think uh, I think this is going to probably do for tonight. Like I said, cut out there, turn left. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get anywhere else. I think all those roads are going to be uh, lined. So um, I'm going to double check. There's enough room for vehicles to get around me. Should be. I'm going to go double check and uh, go and get my doors. So, see you in the morning. Morning, everybody. Oh, I'm not going to lie, I twisted my neck a little bit. And it hurts. Uh, yeah, that was fun. We just had to reverse on a bay, obviously. Heads out the window. I just twisted my neck. Really annoying. I've taken some painkillers. But I feel good to drive, so we shall continue. Right, morning. Yes, we are currently at our first collection point. We've just been loaded as well. Um, it was only three pallets. So uh, <laughs> it took me by surprise how quick it was to get them on. Do you know what I mean? Uh, give you an example. I woke up at seven o'clock this morning and the time right now is just after half past seven. <laughs> so I've woken up, I've done my checks. I've literally parked around the corner from, from this place. 
and I'm on a bay and within five minutes I'm off the bay again. So I've literally not had time <laughs> to like charge my GoPros up or anything. So that's why I've only just started now this morning. But we're done, we are loaded. Now we are heading to Wrexham. We've got to go to Minnenleti or something. I know where it is, I've been there before. I've actually parked outside the gates before, even when I'm not collecting from there. <laughs> Good place to park up for the night. So, uh, and it's nice and quiet. And as for last night, phew, I had a great night's sleep. Now, I mean, there were some fireworks going off uh, up until like 10, 11 o'clock at night. In fact, some were going off literally just after I finished recording. But that doesn't matter because, you know, it's fireworks, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's not, it's not too bad. <laughs> um, I was in bed. I was, I was messaging my boss last night, like, what, what's the address? Because he wasn't 100% sure what the address was. Um, because he was driving at the time, so he needed to wait until he had finished before he sent me the details. But it was like half past eight, and I was just so tired. <laughs> I just went to sleep. I was like, I, I can't wait up any longer. I'm going to bed. So I just woke up a little bit earlier this morning, 6 a.m. I woke up just to check my texts. Uh, and then, yeah, so it was where I thought it was. I thought, oh, I'll allow for another hour in bed then. Got no idea what time they open from. There's no opening times on Google, so I just thought, oh, I'll wake up at seven and go in after that. That's a safe bet. Don't want to get there too early. But you know, like I said, I was only in there like five minutes, so it's not like I got held up anyway. We do have to be careful because today we can only do a 13-hour shift. We've already done three 15-hour shifts this week. Um, so because we started at 7 o'clock, I have to be finished by 8 p.m. tonight. Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Today is relatively easy. All we've got to do now is go to Wrexham and get loaded uh, with the remaining pallets. Then take that to uh, Mitchell Dean. And then from Mitchell Dean, we tip and reload. But the reload, I think, is booked in for 3 p.m. So it depends on what time we get back to, to Mitchell Dean. But yeah, 3 p.m. loading time. Uh, let's say they're late <laughs> and they don't load me until 5 p.m. I'll be out of there by 6 p.m., which only takes an hour to load, if that. And there's only an hour back to the yard, so 7 p.m. So even if they load me two hours late, I should be fine. Three hours late, I should be fine. But you know, hopefully they load me on time, we can get back to the yard by five o'clock. That's, that's the aim. Probably shouldn't have said that because it is a Friday and once you say you finish early on a Friday, you never finish early on a Friday. So. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to go. Hopefully these painkillers kick in soon because my neck is a little bit sore, like I said. I can still move my neck around, it's not a problem. I can move it around fine, it's just a little bit painful when I do. Anyway, see you in a bit. Right, we're in Wrexham. We parked here before, right here on the left. Parked there for the night before. So, let's park here. Let's go and uh, see security man. See you in a second. I don't know whether you picked that up on the microphone, but he just said, you're probably best to wear a mask because we've got a few cases in here. <laughs> nice. Yes, I think I probably would do best to wear a mask. Uh, let's get me uh, my PPE cupboard. <laughs> it's like the face mask is very quickly becoming a, uh, a PPE requirement. Personal protective equipment. I don't know if I'm going on a bay or not. Uh. Please speak to someone in there. Right, be right back. Right. Uh, we are now loaded. <laughs> I can't remember what time we got here because it was so long ago. <laughs> what time did we get here? Let me just check my, uh, my Google. We arrived at about 20 to nine. Uh, it's now 20 past 12. So yeah, 
What's that? Three and a half hours? About that? Just over? Yeah, just over three and a half hours. It's been here a while. Yeah, it's... Uh, oh, no. I, I got the wrong time on my, uh, on my uh, clock. It's actually 20 past 11, so we've been here two and a half hours. Still a long time. Two and a half hours. Okay. Uh, obviously, we've had a 45 minute break while we're here. Not that we did much driving anyway. We've only done about 45 minutes, maybe an hour's worth of driving today so far. But we've had a 45 minute break here. So driving time has been reset. We're three hours away from our destination in Mitchell Dean. So we should be there for about 20 past two this afternoon, which is uh, it's quite all right actually, because if we get tipped straight away, 20 past two, chances are we'll be fully tipped by three o'clock and that's our booking in time to be loaded. So. It could work out quite well. We will see, but we'll have to, have, just have to wait until we get there, really, innit? So, yes. Let's make our way back to uh, to Gloucester, Homewoods, and uh, get tipped in Mitchell Dean. See you in a bit. Okay, situation update is now quarter past three in the afternoon. We are here in Mitchell Dean, currently being offloaded. Um, once we get offloaded here, we then go and get uh, loaded at the next place, which is like opposite where I am now. Um, yeah, so it's currently quarter past three. I was told that the collection time was booked in for three o'clock. I got here and the guy goes, no, nah, it's booked in for seven. I was like, you what? We've got a problem if it's booked in for seven. I didn't say that to him, but we do have a problem if it's booked in for seven. Because I started at seven and I can only work a 13 hour shift a day. But um, he then checked his paperwork and said, oh no, it's booked in for four o'clock. He then looked behind him and he said, yeah, it's there. It's just not finished being picked yet. So they've started picking it. That's a good sign. Uh, once this has been uh, taken off me, which won't take too much longer, five minutes, if that, I'm going to drive back round, wait there, and uh, hopefully they call me in at four o'clock in 45 minutes' time to get loaded. Fingers crossed. Yeah, so uh, it's been an easy day today, to be honest with you. My neck's feeling a lot better today. Well, uh, sorry, much better now can move around a lot more. I don't know what I did, I just sort of twisted it a little bit weirdly this morning. Getting older now. <laughs> okay, it's now five past five. We're still not loaded. Um, we are now in position to be loaded. We're just waiting for all to go on now. But it's getting dark and I thought I'll end the video before it's pitch black and you can't see me. So yeah, thanks for watching. We're gonna get this on. We are gonna head back to the yard. Like I said, it's five past five at the moment. Just gone. And uh, we'll, we won't be here for much more than an hour from now. So that puts it at five past six. It's now back, five past seven. I can work until eight o'clock. So uh, it's gonna be a full day. Uh, well, it'll be a 13 hour shift, which is all I can do today. So we've pretty much maxed our hours this week. Uh, can't have done any more really, if I, if I tried. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.